Hey YouTube, this is Mystic Virgo up today for a reading. I am doing the Gemini now. I've completed a lot of the readings for the for the 12 signs. I have Gemini that I'm about to do now. So uh, if you all are, are, would resonate with this, I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and also pass it along. I appreciate the one so far who has um, subscribed to my channel. That really, really gives me the hope that I'm doing something right and that you connect with what I'm saying. So uh, if you like, please subscribe again. Once I click subscribe, and pass it on if you resonate that's fine maybe there is something that you need to know even if it's just a little or something uh, whatever you resonate with just take what you need and leave the rest so I want to get going now with the reading for the Gemini if you are a cross watcher that's great uh, go ahead and uh, look back at the other videos I posted so far and see if maybe there's something that you connect with on, on a different uh, a different reading for one of the signs one Turn my music down. Let's do some jazz right now, y'all. <laughs> Bonnie James. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling the cards for you, Gemini. See what is up for you all. What is up, universe, for the Gemini? What message do you want me to pass along to the Gemini? I see uh, some uh, the Knight of Swords popped out. Popped out running. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> Wanting to uh, figure something out really quick. You want answers and you want answers now. That's how fast you want it. You don't want them to wait around. Uh, maybe you wanted to uh, ask somebody to marry you and you look back on what you had in your life and, and you know that this person is who you're with, who you want to spend the rest of your life with. But anyway, let's just, um, let's just finish up with the shuffling and then we'll go and see what, what's, going, what's going to come out for you, Gemini. What does the universe want Geminis to know? What's going on for the Geminis? Gemini, what do you need to know? Spirit guides and angels lead me in the right direction and tell me what you need me to tell the Geminis. I have here, yep. Yeah. You're looking at towards something, uh, maybe a wedding or maybe a marriage. Maybe you want to uh, ask this person. So I'm going to clarify this Knight of Swords here. Clarify. I'm going to clar clarify it with a different bit. Clarify the Knight of Swords Holy Spirit. What do you want me to tell the gentleman? What is this Knight of Swords going too fast and in a hurry? This, they want to know something. What is it that the Gemini's want to know? I have here the world. So. Looking at these two cards, you are wanting to, to maybe move somewhere, go somewhere, because this person is looking off into an area and not really sure what is going on, where they want where they want to go, where they're headed. They're heading somewhere really fast, and they just don't know where it is. Um, I'm going to uh, pull some more cards to see what I can come up with for the Gemini. I'm looking at this beautiful Gemini card here. Um, I think this is a very, very nice deck. Um, trying to find the box. I have a lot of cards here that I'm reading from today, y'all. Okay, where's the box? Okay, I don't see it right now. I have to find it later. But for the most part, oh, here it is. Okay. So this is the Zodiac, Zodiac Oracle cards. They are very, very informative. If Just in case you all were wondering what deck this was. This is very, very nice. Okay. So I'm going to finish up this reading here. I have the strength. So there's some kind of, of um, maybe maybe you apologize to somebody or maybe you were in the process of getting married and they left you at the altar and you have to have strength to get over this. And, and you, it's like you're running toward, you're trying to figure out where this person went. They left you at the altar or they got cold feet and left before the wedding, something like that. Um, they left you <clears throat> and um, you offered this person your hand in marriage and, and they were reluctant at first, but all of a sudden they said, yeah, I'll marry you. Yes. But then they ran away. OK, possibly, you know, if that's the way I'm reading this correctly, <clears throat> they ran away from you. They ran away from the union. They ran away from the marriage or they ran away from uh the whole relationship altogether because they were maybe afraid they didn't have the strength or the fortitude enough 
to stick things out with you. And that's why uh, that's why they left they left you standing. And this person was your story. This person meant everything to you, Gemini. But the marriage ended, the relationship ended. It was ended it ended so fast. It was so um it was really, really fast. They just left. And you probably didn't even know they left until it was too late. Until it was too late. Let me see what else I can get here. The seat. Maybe they were holding something over your head. Maybe something you did wrong in the past. And they just couldn't go to, through marriage without you. They were really focused on deceit. Maybe you did something to this person. Maybe you cheated. Or maybe you lied to them. And they found out about whatever it was that was going on. And they decided to end it. A marriage, an engagement, or whatever. I'm leaving this union. I don't want to be with you anymore. Who we have the emperor. And you're now concentrating on trying to find this person who you wanted to marry. Who you wanted to spend the rest of your life with. But they left you. Yeah. The two of cups, they left. You love this person, but now you're trying to figure out what, what happened. Where did this person go? I love this person. Where did they go? You're looking back at the things you could have had, the things you, you the plans you made together with this person. It's just all over with because <clears throat> they left the union. They left the relationship. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe they took money um, to travel or to get away from you for whatever reason, um, just to get away. And they, they were very, very hurt about something or maybe they just weren't ready you know they had to come out of the fear they had to step out of the comfort of the relationship because maybe marriage scared them maybe they weren't ready for a marriage maybe they weren't ready for a relationship maybe they didn't tell you they just left or maybe it was you who left uh, however this resonates maybe you left the reunion really really fast and you didn't tell this person you left this person hanging um I think you just left or they just left the union. They left the relationship out of fear, out of anger, out of hurt. It was it was a, a burden to this person. This person had to leave to clear their mind. They may be back, but they may not be back. I'm coming back, possibly. They're coming back. Give them some time. Let them let them rest. They may have uh, walked away, like I said, from the wedding on your wedding day. And I know that's probably hurtful for you. Or right at the wedding day, something toward the wedding day, they ended. Or whatever big celebration you all were about to stop. Maybe you wanted to have an engagement party. And they left before the, the, the engagement party took place. And you don't know where they are. You, didn't, you don't know. They could be anywhere in the world. And you don't know where they are. And that's, that hurts you. That bothers you that they, that they left you hanging like that. And, and they were uh, sitting on this decision. They knew beforehand that they were going to do this. They had, it was like a, it was more so like a pre, pre a premeditated kind of kind of thing. They needed to figure out how would they get some money. So they probably took some money out of your joint account or found some money or whatever and found a way to get out of of the, the union or the relationship. Right now, they're sitting on their decision. They don't know what they're going to do. They don't know if they're going left or right. They just knew they just knew that they had to get away, even if it's just for a little while. I don't think it's permanent. Uh, and you're very, very focused on trying to find this person. Where did this person go? Our relationship ended and, and it ended and it hurt me. I'm still hurting. I love this person. I care about this person. Why did this person have to go? Why did this person have to run away from me? Why couldn't she or he, however it resonates, why couldn't they just communicate with me and, and tell me that they didn't want to do this? We could have waited. We could have waited. They didn't have to sit on their feelings. They could have talked to you. We talked about everything else. But this person just up and left. And I have no idea where they are. I'm worried about this person. I love this person. I care about this person. If this person would just come back to me, I would accept their apology. No questions asked. Just come back. Just come back. Okay. I name my videos. I think I may name this one just come back. Maybe, possibly. We'll see in a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, Gemini, I hope uh, this person does come back to you. I just think this is a temporary thing. I think they just got cold feet about the situation or about the relationship. Maybe you had a disagreement and they just said, this is it. I'm done. I'm not, I'm leaving. I'm not, I need some space. You know, maybe they told you they were leaving and you didn't believe them. Or maybe they left when you went to work or you went out to hang out with your friends. And when you came back, their stuff was gone. They just need to clear their head. They just need to, to get some uh, clarity about the situation. And, and they're thinking about it. They're, they love you. <clears throat> but they maybe they, maybe they aren't ready for marriage right now. Maybe they just, 
want to be in a higher form of commitment. Just don't take it as far as marriage just yet. Maybe they need to get their life together before they commit to something so uh, so deep as a marriage. So marriages are supposed to be forever. And they feel that way. And they want to make sure that when they marry, that they don't ever have to get a divorce. Okay. Yeah, they're coming back. Just give them some space. Okay. Give them some space. They will. They are going to come back to you because they love you. They care about you. It's just a burden on them right now. A burden, and they're not going. They're they going to come back as fast as they left. They cut you out of their life, but when they come back, they're going to come back as fast as they as they left as if, as if nothing ever happened. Let them come back and, and speak their peace. But you but you have to listen to each other. You have to let that person talk. This person is, has changed your world. You have changed their world. Okay. Um, it's like your relationship was written in the stars. You are meant to be with this person, meant to be together with this person here, Gemini. Just, just give them time. They'll come back. They have to um, think about their life right now. They have to cut out, out being so angry and being hurt and upset. And they're going to dedicate their life to you when they come back. But give them time. They're going to come out of it. They're going to cut all of the cold feet issues out. And they're going to come back. And they were nervous. And overwhelmed with the situation, with the relationship, with the wedding, with the whatever it was that you all had planned. It was just too much for them all at once and they punked out. But they will be back. They will be back. What else is it that the give me the clarification for the uh, the will of fortune? Clarify my will of fortune for me, please, spirit. Will of fortune. I have two cards. Yep, I have nine of cups. And I have the five of pentacles here. So, yeah, you feel like they left you out in the cold here, uh, Gemini. And I'm clarifying this with my um, my will of fortune. They're coming back. They don't, they're no longer going to leave you out in the cold. They're coming back. They're coming back to get you. Even if, if, the, even if you have to go look for them. They're coming back one way or the other. Whether you find out why they where they are, they come back on their own. They're going to come back and you all are going to talk and you all are going to issue each other your cups of love and talk to each other and tell, tell each other how you feel because you all are, are meant to be together. Just give them space. They'll be back. You may find this person or somebody may tell you where this person is and you, you're going to go get this person and bring this person back home. And they're going to come yep, and bring this person back home and they're going to come to come back to you and they're going to give you their heart and their soul. And then you all can talk about something more serious. But give it, give your relationship time. Don't rush love. Don't rush marriage. This person doesn't want to rush into marriage because they once they get married, they don't ever plan on getting a divorce. So you all sit down and talk it out. Plan your life together, but wait for the wedding. It's not time for a wedding just yet. Okay? They're going to tell you why they left, and you're going to listen to them because they're going to spill their guts. They're going to tell you. You're too fast. I don't want to rush. I want to. Ta I want us to take our time. Whether it's a male or a female, take it how it resonates on what side you fit on. They're going to tell you. They're going to give you their heart. They're going to tell you why they left. Not too much of a secret because you already knew. Don't rush into a. Don't rush into marriage. Don't rush. Just be in a higher form of commitment with this person. This person loves you and cares about you. They don't want to get married right now. Not to say they don't ever want to get married, but right now for them, it's not the time. They want it to be permanent. They don't want to just jump into marriage for the sake of marriage. They're going to take their vows seriously with you because they love and care about you so very much. I have here victory. Yes, victory. They're going to come back. Victory, victory shall be mine. Yes, victory. They're going to have victory. You are going to have victory. You are going to get together back with the person you love. You all are going to have a no stress at all relationship. It's going to turn out perfectly. But give them time. Let them clear their head. It's like let them clear their head. And once they clear their head, they're going to come back. Or you're going to go pick them up in your chariot and carry them off into the sunset. Yes. This is a great reading. Yeah, they need rest and rejuvenation, and so do you. And, and you all need to heal your relationship. Once they come back, sit down and talk it out. No, 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 uh, no blaming. There's no naming the, the, the blame game right now. There's no time for that. This person is getting some rest. They're clearing their mind and they're going to come back to you, or you're going to go pick this person up because you finally found out, or you will find out where they disappeared to. Okay, I have two cards that popped out, all tied up, and a fifth chakra. Yeah, see? They're all tied up. Don't want to talk right now. But after a while, they will talk. 
because they love you and you love them. You're going to find each other and you're going to get back together. OK, so I hope this meet this reading out here, the page of wands here, uh, Gemini. Yeah. And you're probably trying to figure out why they are. You want to offer them an apology. OK, so I want you all don't have a broken heart. It's OK. They're coming back. OK, they're coming back. I know you're thinking about this person and your heart is broken. And this is very, very deep. I was going to end this reading, but it says keep going. So once they come back and once you all talk, you're, you're going to have a happy family, a happy household. You got to give it time. You got to give this person time to come back. They'll be back. I feel that you're going to find them. You're going to go pick them up and you're going to bring them home. One way or the other, they're coming back. And because they're your goddess. You love this person with all your heart. And people were envious of your relationship. You probably were envious of, of things that, that this person did and vice versa. But you all are together for a reason. You all are destined to be together. Yep, they're the yin to your yang. They're the salad to your dressing. They're the chicken to your dumplings. They're the spaghetti to your meatballs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They are everything you need in your life. You all fit together like hands in a glove. And your uh, third chakra, uh, Archangel Samuel. So if you need to need information, or if you need, all you have to do is call the angels, and they're going to be there for you. But you have to call them and ask them for help. Okay. And the temple path, you all are going to meet in, meet in the middle and you all are going to fix this. You all are going to work it out and you all are going to be happy together in a higher form of commitment, but not marriage right now. Let this person get their mind together. Let this person heal. Let this person come back to you and they're going to talk. Don't be so reluctant to not to listen. Listen to this person. Let this person tell you why they chose not to get married right now or, or whatever it was you all talked about and made this person walk away. They're coming back. And when they come back, just listen. They're going to come back. Listen to each other. Okay, Gemini, I hope you all resonated with this reading. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And you have a wonderful, wonderful day.